Hi, welcome to Just Do. This video will show you how to use Just Do in an enterprise business environment. We will present the basic concepts of Just Do and its main features. In order to do so, we will be presenting Just Do as if it would have been deployed in a company that designs, manufactures, and sells Genie lamps. Ready? Let's go! In Just Do, we believe that in order to be successful in your business, division, team or project, three fundamental components need to be controlled. One, what needs to be done. Two, who is doing what. And three, what's the current status of things. Let's now move from philosophy to terminology. Just Do. A Just Do is a collection of everything that needs to happen within a business unit, whether it be an enterprise, a division, or a group, or within a certain project scope. Tasks. Just Do treats all activities within an organisation or project as tasks. Some are abstract and never-ending, such as sales or research, whilst others might have a long or short-term lifespan, and others might have associated deliveries or very specific action items. Parent, Sibling and Child Tasks Within a Just Do, tasks are organised in a hierarchical structure. When you open a Just Do, you will see what we call the table. It is on this table where you will plan your work, place files and from which you can communicate with your colleagues. We call the initial tasks, root tasks. These are the top-line tasks from which all other tasks will stem from. We will use the term child tasks for all tasks that belong to another task. In a similar way, we will call the task that they belong to a parent task. Just Do Members A Just Do member is a colleague, client or vendor who is invited into your Just Do. However, being a member of a Just Do doesn't automatically grant the member access rights to tasks. This means the member won't be able to see tasks on their table until given permission. Task Members Every task has one or more individuals who can see and update it. Those individuals are the task members. In a few minutes, we will show you exactly how this happens in practice. Task Owner In Just Do, every task has a single individual that is assigned to be the task owner at any given time. The task owner is the person who is in charge to make this happen. It doesn't mean that they are doing all the work, as things can be delegated. This person doesn't have to be in charge of that task forever, as task ownership can be transferred from one member to another. However, it does mean that from an organisational perspective, they are responsible for that task. We will present how it looks and how the task ownership transfer process happens as well. So how does it work? Let's give you some orientation. What we see here is the Genie Lamps factories just do. Genie Lamps is a fictitious company we have created to allow us to show you how to use Just Do. This company makes wishes come true. Genie Lamps produces lamps with built-in genies. As with all businesses, they have a sales division, marketing, production, finance and customer support. At the top of the screen you'll find the name of the Just Do you're in, below this the toolbar, to the right of that is the search field, on the top right is the login and logout function along with account preferences and notification alerts. Also over here is the task pane. This is the table where tasks are displayed. Notice that tasks are arranged in a hierarchical structure and you can expand and collapse them based on your needs. Note that in this basic view, you can see what needs to be done, who is the owner of the task, and what's the status. You will notice that every entry is a task. So, for example, in GLF, we have sales as a task. Although it's an ongoing process, we break it down to smaller and more detailed processes or action items. For example, the subsequent child tasks are Asia, Americas and EMEA. You will see that the child task belonging to Asia is another ongoing task called China. 
and after China is an account called Dragonfly Limited, a retailer in China taking GLF product. The subsequent child task belonging to this is a specific action to process an order. At any time, you can select a task from the table. Once a task is selected, additional information about the task is presented in the task pane on the right side of the screen. There you'll find the task subject and more information grouped under several tabs. For example, on the first tab, you will find the task's members, a chat tool, context, description and other fields. We will review those in detail later on. Now let's discuss some basic operations. To add a task in the system, just click on the plus sign and a new task will be created. Type in the task subject and you are done. In a similar way, to add a subtask, simply click the Enter icon. A new task will be created as a child task to the selected one. Enter the subject and you are done. If you wish to change the order of tasks, you can grab a task by clicking and holding on its unique task ID and drag it elsewhere on the table. Or, you can select the task and use the up and down arrows and indent, outdent in the toolbar. Another way to move a task around is from the task's context. We will discuss this option in another video. Note that whenever you create a task, you are the owner of the task until you transfer ownership. Let's now show you how to transfer ownership. In addition to sharing permissions so that your colleagues can see a task or family of tasks, just Do also allows you to assign ownership of a task to a colleague. Just Do is unique in that it does not offer a fire and forget model of task allocation. Instead, a user can request that a task be taken by a colleague. They then have to manually accept this or reject it with the option of providing a reason why. Hence, there is accountability throughout the platform. No manager can just fire and forget and assume their colleague is carrying out the task. When someone accepts a task, the manager is safe in the knowledge that this task has been seen and the responsibility for carrying it out has been taken on board. In order to transfer task ownership, click on the task's owner icon and choose the person you wish to transfer the ownership to from the list. Notice that if the list is long, you can search for the person that you want to transfer the task to. Also notice that from this dialogue, you can jump to editing the task's members. Once you select the person that you wish to transfer ownership to, a few things will happen. First, on the task owner icon, you will see a small arrow to the avatar. This is telling the user that this task still belongs to its original owner, but a task request has taken place. Second, the person that you are transferring ownership to will get an on-screen notification plus an email notification. Third, the person receiving the request to take ownership of the task will be able to accept or reject the ownership transfer. If they accept the request to take ownership, they will become the new owner. But if they reject it, you will receive a notification about the rejection and will revert to be the task's owner. Remember, if the task is accepted, the avatar will change to the user who accepted ownership. If it is rejected, the arrow is removed. What if the person that you want to transfer ownership to is not a member of the task? This is the time to present how to control who has access to the task. To see who currently has permission to see the task, Either click once on the avatar of the current owner or open the task pane. Choosing the details tab and look at the members list. Choose edit task members to add or remove people. By default, when you create a task, its members will be identical to the members of its parent task. Please note that any changes to task members will by default 
affect all subsequent child tasks unless you untick the box below. However, once created, you can go into the new task and independently edit its members. Looking at the table, you will notice a column called Status Notes. This space allows you to type notes as to the current status of the task. This box allows you to type actual updates to the project. Maybe you had a client meeting and an action point was agreed, or a colleague asked for a clarification and a decision was made. This type of information can be logged here. The Status Notes section is very powerful all entries are logged in the Activity tab of the task pane. Within the task pane is the Activity tab. We have already explained how the Activity tab records status and notes updates. In addition, it will record when it was created and by whom, when ownership is transferred and when any data fields are filled out or altered. You can always filter the activity to changes in the status fields using this switch. Within the task pane is the Details tab, which is where you can find the description area. This is where you can create a detailed description for the task, explaining the scope. So the idea is that in the task subject, you will just list what the task is all about in one to two lines, and more information could go into the description. Notice that you can format the text with colors, fonts, size, etc. As default, Just Do offers a number of other fields, start date, follow up, and due date. It is possible to add a field to the table by clicking the Add to Table button. In a similar way, you can move a field from the table to the task pane by hiding the field. It's also possible to create custom fields, but this is beyond the scope of this video. Please check our help pages and YouTube channel. You can filter what you see on the table by filtering via one or more columns. Simply click on the filter icon and choose your criteria as required. For example, if you want to hide all tasks that are done, simply select all the other criteria except done. Now all done tasks are filtered. It's also simple then to include another filter. For example, if at this point you want to look at in-progress tasks of a certain Just Do member, you can filter the tasks for that member this way. Just Do includes an integral powerful chat feature. Every task can have its own discrete chat, which is visible to all the task members. However, before sending a message, you can choose who will receive a notification informing them of a new message. This way, you do not need to disturb everyone who is a task member each time you have a message. The benefit having a task-specific chat is that any clarifications or discussions relevant to the chat stay with the task and are not lost in a general chat client such as Skype. Notice that recent chat message notifications appear here and that you can either click on the tasks to select or click on the message to open it in a chat window. If you do not have Just Do open, after a few minutes you will receive an email notification that you have chat messages waiting to be read. From the email you will be directed to the message and task. You can add a wide variety of attachments to a task. Simply select the task, go to the task pane and choose the Files tab. From here, 
you can drag and drop files or utilize the file uploader. Notice the vast number of file types and media content that you can attach. For example, you can even record a voice memo. Now, when we use Just Do, we wear different hats from time to time. So far, we were looking at the main view, in which we can see all the tasks, who is doing what and so on. However, when I get to my desk in the morning, what I care about in most cases is what I need to do today. For that, we have the My Do list and other views. To switch views, go to the icon in the top left of the toolbar. Click to activate a drop-down menu and choose My Do List. From here, you can see tasks that are still open, which tasks are due soon, those that are less urgent, and their priority, or use this screen to reorder them by changing their priorities. Prioritization. To help you manage task priorities, Just Do uses colour codes to mark the task's level of priority. Check our YouTube channel for working with Just Do prioritizations. Personal customization of Just Do. Account preferences, columns, daily email updates, etc. can be managed here. How to switch to a different project. Remember, it is possible to have multiple Just Do's. To switch between Just Do's, click on the menu icon next to the Just Do logo at the top of the screen. From here, you can switch between different Just Do's or click the blue plus icon to create a new Just Do. How to invite new users to your project. To invite other users to your Just Do, click on the Share icon in the top right-hand corner and enter the email address of the person you wish to invite under the Invite New Members field. There are many other features within Just Do. There is a module on resource management, a visual timeline feature, the ability to copy tasks and their family of tasks, an option to have more than one parent for a child task, and much, much more. To learn more about this and find additional help, please go to the link below. You can also ask for support by clicking on the question mark icon over here. Then choose the Just Do Support Centre link. We're here to help you. Thanks for watching. Just Do, keeping it simple.